and welcome back to the channel. Now, a quick update. I mentioned some time ago that I had written an email to the Minister of Transport to express my concerns about the fact that drone users in New Zealand were not really getting any representation at this discussion relating to the new rule updates that are going to happen sometime next year. And uh, there were plenty of people sitting at the table. We've got the Airline Pilots Union, we've got a um, lot of commercial entities, we've got um, CAA, lots of people sitting around a table, but where was someone to represent the individual drone users who perhaps aren't a member of organisations such as the National Model Flying Body, Model Flying New Zealand? And I mean, if, depending on the numbers you listen to, uh, there's up to 300,000 people who fly drones in New Zealand. And in that case, why don't they have a voice? Well, I wrote the email to the minister and I have a reply. Let me read it to you. I'll also put it on the screen for those of you who can read yourselves. But for the rest of you, here we go. It says, Dear Mr Simpson, thank you for your email of 27 July regarding drone regulation in New Zealand. As you are aware, the government is considering potential updates to the relevant civil aviation rules to promote safe and responsible use of drones. Officials from the Ministry of Transport and the Civil Aviation Authority are working closely together on this. They are planning to engage with a range of key stakeholders over the next few months to test their early thinking on possible options before developing policy proposals. I have shared your message with them and have been assured that your name was already on the list of people they are planning to contact directly. If you have any further questions on the drone regulatory program, in the meantime, you're welcome to email the Ministry of Transport. And there's an email address. Right, what can we make from that? Well, I was already on the list. That's good to know, isn't it? Um, that doesn't mean that they actually contact me. I've had dealings with large organisations before, and the fact that they say one thing doesn't mean they're going to do that thing. We'll see what happens. Given the benefit of the doubt, I'm sure I will be getting a call saying, please come and talk to us. But the most telling part of this whole thing here, which is really quite worrying to me, you'll recall I said some time ago that this has happened around the world. It's happened around the world. We've had aviation regulators like CAA, like CASA in Australia, and like CAA in the UK, who have set up some reasonably good, reasonably robust and fair frameworks for drone regulation. And then the politicians have got involved. And being driven by the public hysteria that they read in the newspapers every day, almost certainly, they have decided this is not enough. We must do more. We must be seen to be doing more before countless peop people die in aircraft knocked out of the sky by drones. So they say to the regulators, please, toughen these rules up. And the regulators go, no, actually, they're all right. And then, so the politicians go, how dare you? How jolly dare you? We're going to give this to someone else, someone who will listen to us, someone who we can apply more pressure to, and they hand it over to another government body. And in the case of the UK, it's the Department for Transport, or Department, what is it, Department of Transport or something, DOT, yeah, De Department of Transport in the UK, and they've brought out these new crazy rules that the British are having to fly under. In Australia, CASA has come under huge political pressure to toughen up their rules. So they've got this lunacy, which I'll be talking about in a video coming up very shortly, which really just is absolutely mind-bogglingly stupid. And here in New Zealand, we have as the Minister has said in his letter, if I want more information, contact the Ministry of Transport. Well, hang on a minute. Why would I contact the Ministry of Transport about changes to aviation regulations? We have the CAA. The Civil Aviation Authority is the government body given the task of regulating the airspace. But no, they're not. They're not towing the line. I think that the thing is, if we read through the, read between those lines, CAA although they're the official body set up to do this and get millions of dollars a year to do it, because they are not towing the line, we're now dealing with the Ministry of Transport, which is a much more easily manipulated organism or department of government. They can actually, you know, they can really apply the screws there because they're, they don't, they're not quite at so much of an arm's length from the government themselves. So, hmm, this is uh, it's quite worrying. It is quite worrying that, that in that letter, obviously, it's now Ministry of Transport. They'll do whatever we tell them to do. CAA, yeah, they can come to the table, but they're not going to get much of a say. They'll just have to rubber stamp whatever we tell them to do. So, oh, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy at all. I can see where this is leading. And as I've said before, 300,000, according to Airshare, which is a website set up by CAA and um, the Callahan Innovation. I was watching YouTube this morning and an ad came up saying, there are around 300,000 New Zealanders who own or fly drones. Well, the number's gone back up because it was 280 
8,000, I think it was, according to the CAA survey, then it dropped right down to 700,000 or 70,000, according to the government, and now it's gone back up to 300,000. <laughs> it's like nobody knows, but it doesn't seem to be of any concern. They don't seem to care that nobody knows. They just pluck these figures out of their ass, and that's good enough because we have an agenda, we have a goal, we are planning to do something, and we won't let facts, reality, science, or logic get in the damn way of that. We'll just give it to the Department of Transport. Um, the Ministry of Transport, they know what they're doing because <laughs> we tell them what they're doing. <sighs> anyway, so that's where we're at. And as I say, I'm not happy with this, not happy at all. We'll see what happens. Will the 300,000 or 77,000 or whatever, however many drone users there are, am I going to be their only voice? In which case, this is completely screwed. Why would you have the, the, the people who represent the huge majority of people engaged in drone operations, why would they get one voice? When all the others, like the, you know, the, the airline pilots who are, how many airline pilots do we have in this country? Seriously, like we must have, you know, I don't know, maybe less than 100 certainly. No, probably only dozens, scores of airline pilots in New Zealand. They get a seat. So we've got like maybe 60 people over here get a seat. 300,000 people over here get a seat. Does that seem a balance to you? Does that seem fair and reasonable? I don't think it's reasonable at all. I think it should be pro rata to the number of people involved. And in that case, we should have a hell of a lot more seats than airline pilots because we are the majorities who are going to be affected by these rules. In a democracy, you get a say proportional to your headcount, really. That's how it works. How votes work. That's how democracy works. One person, one vote. Not when it comes to regulation. Not when politicians get involved because once they're elected, democracy is an, an irritating inconvenience, I have a feeling, in many, many governments. You know, oh, we're all for democracy when we're in the opposition. Once we get into power, democracy is a damn pain in the backside because it, we could get tossed out because of it. So yeah. anyway, that's it. I wanted to have a little bit of a rant, but I've update you on the status of my communications with the minister. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget that um, there are links in the description if you want to support the channel. You know the stuff. You know the rules. You know how it goes. Anyway, so if you want to stay in touch with drone regulations around the world and watch my little rants from time to time, then please feel free to subscribe. There's a button on my shirt somewhere. I don't know. And uh, yeah, now I've got some real work to do. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.